Hi guys, I'm back. I have uh, cut the envelopes down and uh, now we're going to decorate them. And inside I put one of Artie Mays's, oh, this is Paper Cuts by Jackie by the way. I got to yakking already. Put one of Artie Mays little cards inside the envelope. And I ink around, I inked around all the sides. So we're gonna decorate those for our book. And then I finished covering the fold out with some of the paper from the paper pack that I'm using for the poppy page. And then I just put a little tab on it because it's gonna go onto the page and pull out. So I put a little tab on it and then covered the inside with the ink paper. So I did that on both of them. And now we're gonna put the pockets in here. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a couple more uh, embellishment, embellishments to it. So. The first thing I'm going to do is glue down these little pockets. As you see off to the left here, I've laid out a few things to decorate with. I've got some lace. I've got some cutouts of some flowers. I've got some stickers. I've got some Artie Mays Vintage Children. I've got some numbers. So I'm just going to stick this down here, and I only glued it on three sides. So we're going to have a little pocket here, and then what I did was I cut out the Artie Mays tags, and I've got some orange ribbon here. So we're just going to put some of that through it. And then we're going to tuck it in our little pocket. And then this will be ready to put into our signature. Got that kind of long. There we go. So there's one. So the inside just has a little pocket with the little ribbon hanging out and then there's a journal spot here and then we're going to decorate this side so let's do the same with this one first I'm just taking my ribbon putting it in my little tag pulling it through the top. Now this is part three of the poppy journal. And now I'm gonna take this one and glue it on three sides and make my pocket on this page. So, uh, it looks like we're probably gonna be uh, five parts. I am going to sew the signatures in uh, before we decorate the front and we put all, all of our ephemera in. Just centering it on the page here, gluing it down. And I inked around everything off camera because that's kind of tedious to watch. And then there's a journal spot here and then another journal spot here. So once these get put in. So now we're going to decorate the front. I also have some uh, little poppy stamps from the Artie Maze. Uh, I also cut up some coffee filters that I thought would look 
good kind of as a backdrop. So I'm just taking a few things and laying them down. Seeing if I like it. And then I made these little bows with some ribbon. I just tied and took a piece about three inches long, tied a knot in the middle, and then just cut a corner. So I'm thinking that's kind of cute, but let me. And then I thought we'd use one of G Kerr's freebie. Be humble. Uh, tag up there. I've got be humble, be patient, and be gentle. So I'm going to do humble and patient, I think. I think I want one of these Artie Mace picks back here too with the poppies. That looks cute. So let me just ink around the edges of these. And then we'll place that down. It's kind of nice when you have uh, things out that already match what your uh, theme is. I think I'm going to go right there. So that was an Artie Mays freebie. I just downloaded the Artie Mays Purple Med Medley. And oh my gosh, the add-ons are just gorgeous. I hope you're doing well today. Kind of like that there. Right, glue it down, yeah. Kind of framing. And then I'm gonna put a number or two on it. going to have to use my Fabri-Tac glue for the lace. I just pulled some random laces from my bin uh, and Oh yeah, that's looking cute. I like the polka dots. I do, I do, I do. Oh, that's cute. So now let's get the Be Humble down. Now this is <clears throat> the one we collaged and decoupaged over. And then I was thinking over here maybe I have these numbers. I think I'm going to use the black. I got a number three. I think I'll put it right there. And after this video, I'm going to fix myself some lunch and probably take a little nap. <laughs> Rough day, right? Oh, that's adorable. So, so it's going to attach to the page 
and then fold out. You can journal over here. And then when you flip it, you can journal here. And then you have another tuck spot with, I need to cut this one down again because it's still a little long. I must have got crazy with the ribbon. So, I don't know if I want to put that over there. Yeah, I like that. It's just a, oh no, I'm going to use those for tabs. Uh, can't use that one. Never mind. All right, we're just going to leave this one this way. Now we'll move on to this one. And I'm thinking I have the these really neat stickers. Uh, there's the lily one. There's a poppy one. I like this don't know what kind of flower it is but it's like a and these are stickers I always have a hard time getting the backs off but once you get it started it goes pretty easy the backs thick but the stickers thin and see-through So I'm just going to place that one here and then we're going to put some things around it. Now these stickers are really sticky so I don't usually put glue behind them. This one I think we're going to do be patient. So let's put that down. Then I'm thinking we'll put one of the butterflies. These are Artie Mays butterflies. didn't glue the wings all the way down because I want it to be a little more 3D. Hmm, let's see. I have this little bow. That would look cute right there. Yeah. Didn't need a whole lot on this one. Trying to get my, there it goes, my art glitter glue out. Or my fabric tag. Make it look like the uh, flowers have a bow on it. That looks nice. And then I'm going to take the number five and put on here as well. I 
like the numbers. Put it off to the right here or left. There we go. Another one done. That's cute. Two down. And then what I was going to do is just go ahead and staple these ribbons to the top of each of these little cards and then they'll be ready to tuck in somewhere in our journal. There's one. And then I've got the second one. Sometimes I like the staple, and sometimes I like the ties. So it's just a personal preference. And uh, I just like to mix it up sometimes. I don't think I ink these. And I printed this page on cardstock, so it's a pretty stable card. I think this one. And then that gives us four pieces and then we'll do our little envelopes and then I'll do some ephemera off camera and show you when we come back on session four because this is session three or part three and then show you what all I have so we have these two envelopes that we're gonna stick on the side of a page and they're gonna go like this so I was thinking I would use these little Artie Mae sayings and stick those down. I'm just putting glue on the back. I originally put them on coffee dyed paper, but and then this one. Other one. And I have these tags. Oh, yeah. With a little bow on it, maybe. Or I have these cigarette cards. I think I'll use those. They're really cute poppies. And I'm just gonna tuck it there like that. Then I'm gonna just take one of my, it's, uh, I would, they were inspired by uh, Girl on the Ridge, Lori Fusco. She always puts these little bows on her stuff and I just love them. So I made a bunch up in advance so I can just pop them down. Oh, that's cute. I kind of like simple. I'm not a big embellishment.
embellisher. There's this little guy. I think we'll put him down in the corner. There's one. Now we'll do this one. I don't like to put fill my uh, journals up too much with ephemera. I like to keep a lot of writing spots in mine. But I do like, you know, like every three to four pages to put some type of pocket or tuck or belly band or something like that. Oops. Get that underneath. There we go. And I don't always do my uh, tucks and pockets uh, to match. I just happen to do it on some. So you can just randomly do stuff and uh, there's that one and we're going to put another bow on. I am sure liking these bell bottles. Uh, they keep your stuff I'm drying out and easy to squeeze and they're just nice. So there's envelope number two. So let me just shove all this aside, all this ephemera, and I'll keep it out and we'll, I'll use it with my other embellishments that I'm making, but I wanna just show you what all we did in the last two sessions. So. We need two little envelopes. It's uh, collaged and decoupaged, decorated, and then on the inside, we just have a little card. So those are ready to now go into the journal. We just put some ribbon on the top of these two tags. That's ready. And then we did these two fold outs that'll attach to the page um, and then open up. There's one side and then on the inside we did the pocket and then we just put a tag in it. So not real difficult but gonna be really cute in our journal and this one's Be Humble with our little vintage girl in our ribbon. The same goes into the page, folds out, and then inside is our pocket with another tag. So I appreciate you watching today. I hope you got inspired and got some ideas of some things that, some ephemera that you can make for your journal. And I will see you on Monday with our next video. And in that, we will be putting our ephemera uh, into our signatures in our book. So I can't wait to see you. Have a really great uh, rest of the weekend and God bless you. Bye-bye now.